Ah, welcome back everyone. So I think we all have seen this one before. I think we have seen this one before and I know everyone has their own opinions about it. So what we are looking at now it's the Capcom Cup 10 brackets or groups, whatever you, you may call it. So I know everyone has a lot to say about group f but i think every group i think we can say something about every group up here so i think let's actually start from in chronological order group a so how i see group a looking so with joe Morogan, so let me start with the notable players joe Morogan, crossover kwano and phenom so out of these, uh, those are the most notable players and they're the ones you'd expect to actually go through, but we can only have two out of every single group. So in group A, how I see it, my predictions for it, I, th I am betting on Kowano making it through and Phenom. No, I don't, I don't mean anything bad about the other players. I don't, I'm not saying that they're not good enough, but... From what these guys have actually done in the past and what they're actually doing this season, I think Kwano and Phenom will probably go through. So they can end the look. So yeah, another can and another look going forward. And yeah, so yeah, it looks a bit uh, tricky in Group B. Group B is not as easy because you got nephew. You got Big Bird and you got Chris Wong. Hmm. So, out of these three, I would say I'm expecting Chris Wong to make it through. And then the other one will be between Big Bird and Nephew. So, what do I think about uh, those two who actually would, in my head, would actually make it through? I think I would actually go for... The unpopular pick, I think nephew won't take it. So yes, you heard it right. I said it. Nephew and Chris Wong are gonna make it through. So expect Chris Wong in winners and nephew in losers. And then we go to group C where we have Knuckle Do DCQ, Mr. Crimson and Bravery. Hmm. Yeah. So, Knuckle Doo has a problem in this group. There's quite a few JP players. And as a girl player, he doesn't like JP. But he has the chemi to counter that. But as for Mr. Crimson, I don't think anyone can counter Mr. Crimson at the moment. I think Mr. Crimson is, with that dozen of his, I think he is in his own little box right there. I think he, Mr. Crimson, has a good chance of making it through. But the problem now for both, actually, for both uh, <coughs> Mr. Crimson and Knuckle do <sighs> how are they going to handle the JP gauntlet? Because DCQ, DCQ, man, this man makes things happen. This guy really makes things happen. So in this group, it's tough to say, but I would go with Mr. Crimson in winners and uh dcq in losers yeah i don't think knuckle do will make it but hey man we'll see these are just predictions so th they will be wrong and right things about it so let's see how it makes so move on to group d so in group d i don't think it's it's even that easy because in group d we have takamura we have velmaster and we have uh, gaichukun so 2018 Capcom Cup winner Gaijikun yeah he's playing the the Rashid but then you have Velmaster with the Chang Li man come on would you really count out Velmaster I don't but then guys we have a L in the same group in L with his look <whistles> so how do I see Group D shaping up? I'm going to go Valmaster, winners, and yeah, Kaichukun, losers. 
I think those are the two guys who are going to make it out. Yeah, I'm sure everyone was expecting, yeah, why didn't you go for Inel and everything? You know, Inel is good. Inel is a dangerous guy, but, and Valmaster and Gaichukun, bruh, like, they're yeah, really good players and really experienced players at that, man. So, I, I, yeah, I just cannot see Inel making this one. I just cannot see Inel actually, because for, from what I'm seeing, Valmaster and Valmaster... Gaichugun and Takamura. I'd say those three, the matches between those three, like, yeah, they are going to be very, very uh, up and down, man. Like, it seems like you can't predict between those three, but, hmm. But then again, guys, should you count out Inel with Luke, especially in this game? Would you count out Luke? You shouldn't, but I am going to do so this time. So, Master winners got you going losers. That's how I'm going for group D. And for group E, Snake Eyes. And then he has to take on a few DJ players. So the common consensus out there is that DJ has a bit of a uncomfortable time against Zangief. Or Zangief. Whichever way you say it. Hmm, but let's actually look at this closely. There's Fudo. There's Xi'an in there. Come on. Those guys are in Asia. Remember, they have quite a few Zengi players in Asia. So these guys are probably clued up with the matchup. So, uh, my heart says Snake Eyes, you'll make it through. Come on, you've, you've done everything. You have to... You have to do it for your loyal fans, Snake Eyes. Come on, you gotta make it through. That's my heart talking. But my head is saying, guys, my head is saying Fudo is gonna make it out of winners. And Snake Eyes is gonna make it in. Uh, no, no, what did I say? I make it as a Fudo is gonna make it out of winners, and Snake Eyes is gonna make it uh, out of losers. So even though. I just said uh, Xian will probably know the Zengif matchup. You're not just playing against Zengif, you're playing against Snake Eyes. So, this guy is really good at the game. So, yeah, you're going to be fighting more than just Zengif. You're going to be fighting against all of Snake Eyes' experience. So, and I don't see Snake Eyes uh, dropping anything besides against Fudo. But I see Xian dropping two, at least two games. Not two games, two sets uh, against e Fudo and Snake Eyes. So I'm going to go Fudo winners, Snake Eyes losers. And then, and then we get to the death group. The group of death. Man, it's not looking good. Man, like everyone out there is saying Lasha, uh, Nero the Boxer. Yo, guys, you're in trouble. But Endin Wonka is also in trouble. But here's what I'm seeing here. So, from how I see it, Mena RD is a Blanca main, right? He loves Blanca. He also uses Ryu, but I think he's using Blanca more these days than he is using not Ryu, man. Uh, Luke. I think he's using Blanca more than he's using Luke. So, hmm. Endin Walker has gone against Problem X's Blanca, and he's come out victorious from that one. So, I'm going to go out on a limb and say, guys. I am seeing Endin Walker coming out of this group in winners. Ooh. The problem I see for Angry Bird is fighting Ryu, fighting against Ryu, and fighting against Guile. These are really, really, really uh, you got tricky matchups for Ken. Even though Ken is uh, br broken and some would say top one, some would say top oh, 
two Fino would say not even in top ten. But yeah. I it's gonna it seems a bit difficult for, 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 for Ken to roll over Luke. I mean roll over and roll over Endin Walker and Cub. So and there's Mena R D with his Luke. Angry Bird is a godlike player backed guys. I'm sorry. I'm going for Endin Walker winners and Bandit's Mena in losers. Hmm. So I am saying what I'm saying is that I do not expect Endin Walker to drop a game. Because he played against guys like Rain Pro, right? Rain Pro from the UK. He was playing out of the UK in the in the in the CPT, and he lost against. I'm sure. Ooh, he he knows how to play that matchup against Gal because I see that as the out of all these matchups, I see Endin Walker Kaba being a problem for Endin Walker. Everyone else, I think they are the issue, but he. I'd say Endin Walker has fought all these other characters. So I see Endin Walker making it out of winners and yeah, Mena RD making it out of losers. So sorry, Angry Batman. No, great player, but I think they just put you in the wrong group. Fortunately, the draw just didn't go your way. But that's just a prediction anyway. It can go anyway. I can be wrong. I can even, all my predictions could be wrong, but we'll see. We'll see. We go down to Group G, and most notable players are there. Is I'd say it's Rof and Rain Pro. Uh, safe. I think safe plays uh, Ken, right? Rof is a JP main, and Rain Pro is a Kyle main. So how do I see this shaping up? Hmm. Guys, you know what? ROF could make it a bad day for Rain Pro. ROF can make it a really bad day for our for Rain Pro with the JP. Safe has the can. So out of all these ones, I'm going ROF. I am going ROF winners. Rain Pro losers. Hmm. Forgive me. Uh, Juninho and Uma. Hey guys. Yeah. I'm sorry. I think this one is between uh, ROF and Rain Pro. But I'm saying ROF. I think he might take it out of winners. And Rain Pro out of losers. So once again. Predictions. These are my own subjective predictions. They could be wrong. They could be right. We'll see. And then Group H, the biggest tragedy. The players coming out of South Africa had to now endure because JBM and Ren are in the same group even though these guys qualified out of the same region yeah sucks but anyways uh yeah it's not only them in there so we have dual kevin we have kusunagi or travis styles and we have the lcq winner and now we know that the lcq winner is who Problem X. How were we expecting to have Copcom X without Problem himself? See, it's in his name. You can't keep him out, man. He has to be the Problem X is the last player. The LCQ winner. Uh, so how do I see this one going through? So we got Duke Kevin up there. With his Rashid and Luke. But he's probably going to go Luke first. And probably Rashid if things don't. Then we have Kusunagi. I don't know who Kusunagi plays now. Remember he used to play uh, Sakura and Kage back in Seed Fighter 5. Hmm, we don't know. We've got Travis Styles with the Changli and Juri. We've got Ren with the Luke. We've got JBM with the DJ. He does have other, other, other couple of uh, pocket characters. I wouldn't even say pocket characters. I'd say he has another couple of mains, but 
I don't uh, see him uh, go straying away from uh, from what you call it, from DJ. But you never know. You never know. Uh, history has told us that yeah, he's a man of full of surprises. So we hope he stays with his uh, main character. But we'll see. And then the LCQ qualifier, which is Problem X. How do I see Paul Max? Paul Max is probably going for the Blanca. If everything goes wrong, he's going to go to Marissa after that. So, yeah. So, he's probably going to go Blanca first. So, how do I see this one shaping up? So, obviously, as a South African myself, I would have wanted Ren and JBM to go through. But that is my heart talking. My brain, on the other hand, says I remember because my brain is saying guys I, I, I don't know my brain is saying something else because this guy told so told us in the whatsapp group that he will do the job regardless of the group he gets Ren he said he'll do the job so I guess I, I, I'll believe them, man. He said he'll do the job. He said it doesn't matter the group. So he was prepared for anything. So I am going to go out on a limb and say, uh, I am expecting Ren, Ren to come out in losers. The losers qualifier will probably be Ren. Reason why I don't put him winners. Uh, I don't foresee him taking the, I don't foresee him, what do you call it, uh, winning the the DJ matchup. Unfortunately, yeah, that one is a very tricky one for, for Luke himself. So I don't see him taking Luke one. So out of winners, out of winners, guys, out of winners. Yes, out of winners. We have another South African there, but... My heart may say, yes, he would be the one, but my brain is saying. Uh, yeah. Problem X. I think Problem X is going to make it out of winners. Problem X is going to make it out of winners as my prediction. So. And losers is going to be Ren. If Ren doesn't make it out of losers, I'm, I'm picking JBM to make it out of losers. Yeah, if I had a third choice. But unfortunately, I two only two people. My predictions can only be two people. So I'm thinking Problem X is going to come out of winners. And uh, Ren is going to do the job and come out of losers. And yeah, so... Yeah, so that's actually how I see this thing, uh, what you call it, panning out. So, as you know, this thing starting on Wednesday, which, yeah, will be happening. Uh, and for us in South Africa, yeah, it's going to be at the odd hours of the morning, in the wee hours of the morning, that's when it's going to be happening for us in our time zone. So, yeah, so that's how I see this thing uh, shaping up. So... Tell me if you think I'm wrong, if I'm right, if you have any other uh, predictions. Uh, so, uh, here are my, let's say, th those were my predictions, right? But I'm just now going to now me add another thing. Here are my dark horses. These are the guys that might actually have upsets. Mike do my might actually come in here and ruin someone's dream yes those guys who do i think is going to ruin dreams group a joe morugan is going to ruin someone's dream i pick him if someone is not going to make it if one of my picks is not going to make it joe morugan will be the reason why because joe morugan is going to drag you down or he's going to push you down and climb up in group B, I picked a Chris Wong and nephew, but there's Big Bird over there. Big Bird can make any one of these guys day a bit one one blocked DP. That's all it takes. 
one block DP round one. And believe you me, you are never waking up DP. And he is going to take you to the cleaners if you don't uh, if you don't uh, play actively on defense. So that's the guy I think who might ruin someone's dream or actually take their place. Big Bird. In Group C, in Group C, I picked uh, what do you call it, Mr. Crimson and DCQ. But, but, I think if anyone is to ruin any one of these dreams, Knuckle Do, Knuckle Do can ruin any of these guys' dreams without Cammy. Remember, Cammy versus. Both uh, JP and Dalsim, Cammy does the job. So I'd be saying Knuckle Do is the dream crusher. If any of my picks are not making it, Knuckle Do will be the reason why. In Group D is where we put we, we chose Gaichukun and Valmaster. But guys, we have Takamura in there. You know Takamura, one of these more. Mo this guy makes this guy just makes up combos on the fly. Yay! Who's to say this guy won't make up some crazy elaborate combo that might take sixty percent of your life, and it's the first time we've ever saw it, and it will be Capcom Cup. Hey, I don't know. That's Takamura, man. Takamura makes the most innovative decisions. T believe me, Takamura will be the reason why no one's making it. Takamura will be the reason why. I'll I wanted to say it now, but yeah, NL is a Luke player. He's a solid Luke player, yes. He can do it, but I don't think he has the X factor like, like Takamura. Group E, who's going to ruin someone's dream? I don't see anyone ruining anyone's dream in group. I see, besides Shien, like, besides Shien doing something crazy, I don't see anything. I don't see. But anyways, we have to pick one. So I'm picking Shien. Shien will be the reason why Fudo or Snake Eyes don't make it through. In Group F, I picked Endenwalker and Mena RD. So who the heck is going to be the dream crusher? The ruin of dreams. The reason why I didn't... Uh, qualifying winners, the reason why I didn't even qualify into the next stage at all. Yeah, it's obvious. It's going to be Angry Bird. Angry Bird. Bird. Yeah. Hmm. I can't believe I... D I cannot believe, actually, I d for both Group B, I did not pick Big Bird and Angry Bird to actually make it through initially hmm, i can't believe i did that but hey those are my picks guys if i'm wrong i'm wrong but we'll see we'll see who's wrong we'll definitely see okay let's go to group g ruiner of dreams definitely i'm going for safe as the ruin of dreams rain pro and rof if y'all don't make it through probably is gonna be safe who caused you not to make it through so watch out Watch out. Dangerous out there. And then we get to Group H. The Ruiner of Dreams. Ivren and uh, what do you call it? Uh, Problem X. Don't make it through. Ruiner of Dreams. Chavi might come in and wash everyone. He might come in and just wash everyone. He might ruin everyone's dream. Heck, he might even get far in the tournament. But he was not my initial pick. So, yeah, I put him as the ruin of dreams, the dark horse. Yes. The gay, the, the gatekeeper. The gatekeeper to the million. It's JBM. It can't beat. If, you're gonna, if you can't beat JBM, you're dead. So, yeah. But I have a feeling. I have a feeling there's, there's one player in here which I think is going to surprise everyone. Guys, watch out for Travis Styles. I know. Everyone, a lot of people don't necessarily like Travel Styles. Travis Styles. A lot of people think, ah, Travis Styles. Yeah. Some big ego, some guy with a big ego from Australia. 
Okay. Well, well, yeah. He's from down under. So be careful. He might put you down under. Be careful. Be wary. Okay, guys. That is all my predictions for this thing. So, yes. Uh, I don't know. Tell me if you think um, I'm going off. I'm losing my mind. Hmm. Me and sanity are not one. Or how do they say it? How, how do they say it? Eh? Those memes about how Nigerians describe things. So, yes. Uh... Sanity is chasing me, but I, I, I run faster than sanity. So something like that. Dumb. Yeah, I, I, I did it wrong. I did it dumb. But anyways, that is it. So dumb, what do you think? Tell me what you think. Was I wrong? Do you think? Was I head wrong? Should I have gone with my heart and <laughs> picked what my heart says? Or should I have gone with my head as I already did? So just tell me what you think. And yeah, let's see who actually makes it through. So. Yep, you know what to do. You know what to do, man. Drop a like. Yeah, that's what you gotta do. Cheers, everyone. Bye-bye.